So Akka, you've spoken to us about the philosophical significance, but to think that such a subtle, such a, an intricate idea has been made into a festival, and that you know, so many millions of people have been coming there to Tiruchendur to uh, be part of this thing, to and and to think that you know it's this philosophical significance and millions of people together, and how how you experience it. So, will you tell us about how the Kandasashti is? Celebrated in Tirchanduraka and also how it ends, uh, how it culminates. Uh, Karna, the reason why these festivals are repeatedly celebrated, like we started with Varya, mm -hmm. we'll go back there. Yeah. What was his question? Where is Sura? Where is Sura? Mm -hmm. And Sura was killed yawns ago, right? Mm -hmm. So why is it that every time we redo this festival, why should we celebrate? Kandasashti every year, it is a kind of reenacting. Mm. It's a kind of reenacting and trying to uh, reread or relearn. Mm. Yes, I am given to fallacies, I am given to all the Maya and the Karma, and it is that I'll have to realize that I cannot be a Sura. Sura, again, the term Sura. Now think of Sura Padma. What does the term Sura mean? We have Suryan. Sura is someone with lot of energy and potential. Mm -hmm. That potential will have to be converted into devotion and Kainkarya. Yeah. And that is what the festival indicates. It's a kind of a reminder for ourselves, millions strong to witness the festival, right. not just plainly witness. Yeah, it is. it doesn't. The festival indicates it's happening continuously, the continuum. It is not that it's period, it's over. It's a continuum. It keeps happening and each one of us will have to place ourselves in the position of Sura and try to become sublime and become Seval and Mile and join there. So it is, it is that which is the uh, significance of celebrating the festival year after year. Mm -hmm. And uh, it ends with the Kalyanam. No? Yeah, usually, you know, uh, uh, it, is, it is a sense of auspiciousness that you do not end something with, you know, somebody getting destroyed or some element getting destroyed, but then make it auspicious with a wedding. Again, you have Valli, you have Devana. The first marriage was Devasena's marriage or Devani's marriage. And uh, Devani was... Devendra's gift. She was brought up as Devendra's daughter and she was Devendra's gift for, uh, you know, recouping all that Devendra had lost. Murga gave back everything. So it was a kind of a gift presented and he wanted the daughter to be married to Murga. And then Valli was sought by Murga himself. Now let's not go into the details of the story, but then think of these two women on either side of Murga. I want to do something. Yeah. Now the entire thing, if we see the philosophical portent, mm -hmm. it is that the human soul will have to make some efforts to reach godliness. Mm -hmm. If I want to do something, I should have the desire to do that. Yeah. The desire here is a good desire, a desire towards goodness not a desire just for having a desire. Mm. The desire has a focus. Mm. So that is Icha Sakti. Mm. The moment I have a desire, I'll have to make efforts, not just sit in one corner and say, yes, I have the desire, let it come to me. No, mm. I would have to make efforts with focus. Mm. And that is Kriya Shakti. Mm. Now, Valli indicates Icha Shakti. And Devasena indicates Kriya Shakti. You have desire towards good and you also make good efforts. You reach the Jnana Shakti, which is the Shakti of wisdom, which is Murga himself. So, and that is, that is a line that we need to follow. That's why there is certain leaving and then this, what you, what you gain out. Yeah, you leave desire towards impermanence but then 
you catch hold of desire towards permanence. Yes. It's like a monkey, uh, Karuna. Yes. The human mind is generally likened to a monkey. Yes. The monkey, you know, uh, sweeps from one branch to another. Yes. Okay, it jumps from one branch to another. You have a hold on this branch and you put your hand to the other branch. Yes. Now just imagine a situation I want to leave this, yeah. I know I have to catch that. Yeah. If I leave this and then attempt to catch, will I be able to catch? Mm -hmm. I'll fall down. Yeah. Yeah. It is that when I'm holding on to this, mm -hmm. holding on to the mortal world, the materialistic world, mm -hmm. holding on to all levels of impermanence, mm -hmm. I'll have to make an attempt to catch hold of permanence and once I catch hold of permanence, I would leave this. And that is why fall at the feet of God. Yes, there are so many things surrounding us, material existence. Mm -hmm. We cannot leave the human existence. Mm -hmm. It is not that we can be born as a deva directly. You will have to go through this and become a deva. Mm -hmm. So, And that is the entire thing about.